What's up everybody, AnimeX here, and in this video, I'll be adding uh, a part 3 to the What If Naruto Was MHA series, and this is of course, did you guys keep enjoying the videos previous to this, and asking for more parts, and hitting that like button and reaching the like goal. And if you guys are new to the channel, or just haven't kept up with the series, I recommend that you watch the parts previous to this, so you can get the whole story of the What If, so I'll leave a link to those videos and the series playlist in the corner, uh, and in the description below. Uh, but if you guys just need a quick refresher from the last part, I will be recapping the last part from the previous part of the series. Um, and we'll jump right into that after the recap. Um, but first, I would just like to uh, tell you guys the like goal so you guys know what you have to hit. Um, last time, the like goal was uh, 60 likes. So, in the spirit of increasing it and testing your power, uh, let's just go to 75 likes. 75 likes. If you this gets 75 likes, I will put out the next uh, what if immediately. As soon as I see that it has 75 likes, you know, got to put it out before any other what if. That's what you guys will be basically liking it for. Um, so that's, that's what it is. If you guys want a part four to this, uh, quick, then I would hit that like button. So let's just jump right into it. And without further ado, let's get started. Now, in the last few parts of this series, Midoriya, along with Naruto, have been bullied and beaten up by Bakugo. This prompted Naruto to want to get stronger and become the number one hero, along with Midoriya wanting to be a hero just because of how much he looks up to someone like All Might. After this, Midoriya and Naruto went through their own grueling training in order to attempt to catch back up with him and surpass everyone and become true heroes. After this, Naruto and Midoriya met All Might, and similar events to the original took place. After Midoriya is training with All Might, Midoriya is now able to use 5% full cowl, and Naruto is adept at multiple forms of jutsu, including nature releases. The last place we left off with was Naruto and Midoriya heading towards the UA entrance exams, so let's jump right back into it. Now, once Naruto and Midoriya arrive in the UA school grounds, everything before the actual exam with the robot stays fairly the same. Midoriya still trips on his shoe and gets saved by Ruraka, so that's how they kind of meet. Naruto looks at her, thinks she's cute, Midoriya thinks the exact same thing, you know, the usual. Now, when Midoriya and Naruto get assigned to the arena, they see that they are both in the same arena, so this makes them happy, along with the fact that they have a really good chance of passing the exam, as far as I know at least. After the rules are explained to them and everything uh, is prepared, they prepare to start the exam. And just like that, it starts. Midoriya activates full cowling and Naruto concentrates chakra on his feet, and they both rush off, racking a bunch of points. Midoriya hops from robot to robot, completely demolishing them with each jump, and Naruto goes from uh, robot to robot, uh, building to building, barraging the robots with wind bullets. As they go through, Naruto and Midoriya don't really see each other at all, since they don't personally want to clash and compete for points until they absolutely have to. And in terms of points, they are both in the top 5, only being lower than someone like Bakugo. Uh, at least someone that they know, and some other prodigious heroes in training. This is, the, this is when the young heroes get truly tested, because just as Naruto and Midoriya reconvene in the middle of the city, they see a huge robot that won't be taken down by them, or that they know can't be taken down by them, and they don't even have a reason to, since they've already racked up the required points to, uh, to, so, uh, to, to pass, you know? So they start leaving the area until they hear someone scream for help, and with that, Midoriya and Naruto turn back to see it was that the girl who kept Midoriya from tripping earlier in that day uh, from is, is trapped under some rubble and cannot escape that robot. And with no hesitation, they both know what they need to do. Naruto makes a shadow clone, launches it at Uraraka, and gets her free from danger. After that, uh, and then Midoriya reacts uh, and reactivates full cowl and launches at the robot, yells out smash, and hits it with a solid 5% punch. But this thing only moves the robot back since Midoriya doesn't have the power of, of full cowl, uh, or he, his full cowling isn't at the same strength as 100%, which is what demolished it in the original. Knowing this, Midoriya jumps back to the ground and launches himself back up at the robot, puts 100% of one for all into his finger and flicks it at the robot. Then, Naruto, barely reacting to the flick, jumps in the air and launched by a shadow clone, uses a wind bullet, and then compresses the flick in order to increase its power. Just like that, the robot gets utterly destroyed with a wind, uh, with a finger flick sized hole in its head, amped by a wind bullet, of course. And Naruto and Meteor are now free falling. Naruto then weaves a ton of hand seals, at least like 50. <laughs> like, he's not very effective with hand seals. Um, but he weaves a bunch of hand seals, and then um, as soon as they hit the ground, he slams his, his full palm into the ground, softening the ground. It still hurts, but the impact is survivable for, for, for both of them. When they both get up, they make sure that Uraraka is okay, and then the exam is over. Naruto and Midoriya go to their homes, waiting for the letter to see if they pass or not, and sure enough, they both pass with flying colors, especially since they were able to save a fellow student. And as soon as Naruto gets a letter, he rushes over to Midoriya's house, bangs on his door until he opens up and sees Naruto celebrating, meaning that he made it too. They both are overjoyed and they're able to make it, and with that happening, they are both ready to head down the path of being a hero. Now, on the first day of their uh, days beginning in UA, Naruto and Midoriya walk into the school together, and they are both giddy with excitement for being able to go to such a great hero school. 
And then, just as they walk in, they see Uradaka, the girl that they saved, and they both have a stupid grin on their face that they can't get off. Uh, and then Uradaka approaches them, thanking them for saving her, just like in the original. And they keep smiling until they see Bakugo, sitting at the table, glaring at them intently. And this smirk is then wiped off their face. Bakugo then storms over to them, gets in their face yelling at them, and then Midori and Naruto just walk past, attempting to ignore Bakugo's rant. Which makes them even more angry, actually, and this makes Bakugo grab Naruto and Midori's shoulder, turn him around, and tell him to leave before he kills them. And then, this is where Naruto gets upset. He starts Bakugo hand off of them, and then gets in his face. He tells them that they made it fair and swear, they worked hard, and were able to make it to the school, and if he doesn't like that, it's too bad, because they're going to be stronger heroes than him. And with that, he pushes Bakugo away, and this push pushes Bakugo over the edge, literally, and just when Naruto and him are about to get into it, Aizawa Sensei rolls into the classroom in his sleeping bag, which is pretty well-timed since he stopped the fight. After this, Aizawa talks to them in his sleepy tone and tells them that there is still a test before they can officially become part of the UA school. And that is through his own personal test for them. And then he brings up the added thing of them failing if they are in last place in the class. This surprises everyone in the in the classroom except for Bakugo and Todoroki, since they aren't necessarily worried about being the weakest in the classroom. Now, once this happens and after they think about it for a while, Naruto and Midori are prepared. So uh they're so they are prepared to not only stay in the class but to be in the top uh, people in it and that's what they're going to try to do in this exercise so when it comes to the 50 meter dash Midori uses full cow in his race versus Bakugo and wins having the best time out of everyone there by far next in the race is Naruto and Lita with Lita only being a hair slower than Naruto when chakra is used to enhance his speed for grip strength Midori and Naruto uh Midori and Naruto come in second and third with Midori getting second and Naruto being pretty far behind in third for the standing long jump Naruto gets Gets, uh, comes in third after Bakugo and Aoyama, and uh, Midoriya, and Lita, of course, and Midoriya <coughs> comes in fourth, very close behind Naruto. So I actually move Naruto and Midoriya down in the rankings just a little bit. For the repeated sidesteps, Naruto comes in fourth behind Minata, Bakugo, and Midoriya. And now, th for the ball throw, Bakugo throws it 705.2 meters, like he does in the original. Uraraka gets an infinity for that test. Midoriya with full cowl actually ties with Bakugo, and Naruto gets 706 meters with the help of a chakra enhanced limbs and shooting a wind bullet to hit the ball, midair propelling it just slightly further than everyone else's but Uraraka's. After all the tests are now over, they see the standings, and sitting on top is Midoriya and Naruto, and third and fourth are Bakugo and Todoroki. Now, as I see this, Naruto and Midoriya jump around super happy that they won't be expelled, and happy that they won in this situation. Bakugo, on the other hand, isn't happy about this, and he's so furious, in fact, that his hand starts sparking without him, without him making them do that. And, uh, and he asks them when they got like this, then he demands to tell them what happened. And when Naruto and Midoriya look at each other and they look at Bakugo, they just say nothing, say that they worked hard, essentially. Naruto and Midoriya look at each other, and uh, they, they just say it paid off. And with these words said, Bakugo loses his mind for a second and rushes at Midoriya in particular, and tries to hit him with an explosion. But before he can do that, Aizawa Sensei deactivates Bakugo's quirk and ties him up with his bandages, restraining him and, you know, having tape over his mouth or having his bandages over his mouth until he calms down. While this is happening, Soroki is sitting in the back, um, fuming with anger. And while he isn't as angry as Bakugo is, or at least outright, he is furious with these two nobodies beating him in anything and trying to be in the way for him in his hero career, proving to his father something, you know, that he can become a hero without his quirk. So it'll be pretty interesting when these two young heroes, or when these four young heroes, I should say, come to blows. Now, after a couple of days of being in UA and going through the regular routine of school with Aizawa Sensei, they finally get a lesson with All Might and Rescue Situation Training, which leads to them doing the Building Bomb Diffusing Station. This is the exercise where there is a dummy bomb in the building uh, for this exercise, and it's basically a 2 on 2 for heroes versus villains. Now, while without Naruto here, we would see the exact same teams be matched up um, as we do in the original, but due to that random factor being added in, all the teams are changed rather drastically, and we get an interesting matchup out of it. Luckily, Naruto and Midoriya draw, uh, and they become on the same team as heroes defusing the bomb, and Bakugo and Todoroki get matched up against them as villains. This makes Naruto and Midoriya quite nervous as both Bakugo and Todoroki are at least as strong as them, if not way stronger than them, and definitely won't hold back against them in the match. So things will be getting pretty interesting uh, with this matchup in particular. 
and that everybody is where i'd like to end this part of the uh what if pretty cool fight i'm um, sorry for leaving you guys on a cliffhanger even though i always do that uh if you guys want another part to this uh to come out soon you know what to do hit that like button comment your thoughts on the what if your own what off ideas or just demonstrate your bower in the comments and if you're new to the channel and haven't already done so consider subscribing hitting the bell so you don't miss out on uh, another part to this what if or any other what ifs in general like I said earlier in the intro, make sure to hit that like button if you want another part. If it gets 100 likes, I will be putting out a part 5 to this ASAP. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, this is AnimeX, signing off.